To install the Arduino IDE on a Mac, the first thing you want to do is go to arduino.cc. Once you're there, click on Download and scroll down until you see Mac OS X. Go ahead and click on it and then save the file to your uh, Downloads folder. Once it's done downloading, go ahead and uh, unzip it just by double clicking on it. Once the uh, file is done unzipping, you probably want to move that application to your Applications folder. And then from there, you can drag it down to your dock. The next step involves uh, installing the drivers. To do this, click on Learning and then Getting Started and scroll down until you get to Mac OS X. Once you click on that, you're going to want to scroll down until you get to installing the software and you're going to look for the link to the FTDI website. Go ahead and open that in a new tab and then once there, you're going to scroll down until you get to the part about Mac OS X and you're probably using an X64 bit machine. Save the file to your downloads folder and once it's done downloading, go ahead and open it by double clicking on it. If you have a newer operating system, then just choose the corresponding package and step through the installation wizard. You will need administrator privileges to install the driver. Once you've installed the drivers, you can close the various windows and then just drag that uh, drive into the trash. Depending on the version of Java you have installed on your computer, uh, you may find that when you try to run the Arduino IDE, you get a message that looks like this. If you want to program your Arduino, you're going to have to install the software. And once that's done, when you try to open the Arduino IDE, you're going to see a warning message, just like you do with all Mac programs. Just accept it, and you can go ahead and start programming. Before you do anything, you're going to have to click on Tools and select Board to switch to the Arduino Nano uh, 328. And then you'll also have to switch the serial port. Make sure your Arduino is plugged in before you go to this menu, otherwise your Arduino won't show up. Choose the tty.usb serial device. That's your Arduino. Once I've installed all the software on my computer, I like to go to the examples program and choose the basics blink program. Uh, but I modify it just a tiny bit. Instead of the LED coming on and going off for a thousand milliseconds, or one second, I switch it to 100 milliseconds so that it blinks really fast. I do this because the default program that's often on the Arduino when it ships out is the Blink program, and I want to make sure that what I'm uploading to the Arduino is different than what's already on it, so that when I see the light, the LED blinking, I know it's because I have a good connection and everything's working properly. Once the program's done uploading to your Arduino, you should see the LED on your Arduino blinking very quickly.